Hello everybody, how are you doing today? I hope you all have been enjoying yourself this time. Myself Wasimana and today I'm gonna show you how to install WordPress on SiteGround. So to install WordPress in your hosting called SiteGround, first of all you'll have to go to SiteGround.com and there here you go. And then if you already purchased uh, a domain and hosting from SiteGround, then it's okay. If you not, then you'll have to go to Wave Hosting and then here is the couple of hosting you can see shared hosting cloud hosting dedicated servers and reseller hosting and enterprise hosting so i would like to for your business and personal website or simple e-commerce website i would like to recommend you this one shared hosting so just click on that and here you go you can see there there is uh, three plans start up grow big and go big so i'd like to recommend you if you really want to build a simple wordpress website like uh, three to five pages or a small blog or a personal website then you can start you can purchase the plan start up if you want a more bid like uh, totally e-commerce where you can sell your online products to your uh, uh, users worldwide then you can purchase the website called uh, uh, the plan called grow big you know as it will provide you some great features uh, ever you know uh, if you have a look in the premium features then you can see priority technical support and then super cashier for great speed if you compare this plan with other hosting like Bluehost, SiteGround or um, iPace or HostGator and th this plan is not available uh, this feature is not available in those hostings so I'd like to really recommend you uh, this plan uh, grow big uh, for your uh, for great speed on your website uh, where you can sell your online product or something else and the GoGeek, if you uh, really want to build a huge, um, a large website or a community, uh, then you can use uh, this plan. So, uh, to uh, getting started, uh, so I'd like to recommend you this one, best seller. So, first of all, what you need to do, you need to click on get started. After that, it will ask you for a couple of information like. Uh, uh, register a new domain if you don't have a domain already purchased then you can place your new domain name right here if you have a domain already then you can place the domain right here so i'd like to register i'd like to show you from scratch that's why i'll put a domain name right there like mdwashimrana.com okay then click on its uh, the domain registration uh, it will charge you 15.95 cent per year excluding that so click on proceed one second here you go this domain is available uh, then you'll have to fi fill up couple of information about yourself uh, like uh, your email and your password and the confirm password and then here is your information like uh, from which country you are and then uh, your state and then your first name your last name your city and then your bad if you have the bad code uh, bad number then here and phone number zip code that's all here you go and then you can see uh, under the payment information you will have to place your card number and then the date of expiration everything you know right so here you go purchase information who is planning your purchasing grow big and then the data center is singapore and the period you will have to select the period obviously like uh, 12 months 24 uh, months or 36 months you know um, or after that you will have to again renew the uh, plan and then here is extra service if you want then you can select if, if you don't need then just ignore and then here just click on confirm and then pay now okay once you complete the pay, uh, payment then you will um, you will uh, get into your account then you'll get the uh, side game dashboard just like this as I'll install WordPress and I have purchased the plan already uh, that's why I, I logged in uh, in my hosting and then in the home page once you have completed the purchase and you can log into your hosting plan so first of all you will have to go to my accounts and then you can see here this is your uh, name server what you need to place under the uh, domain if you purchase the domain in other company like godaddy or um, hostgator or ipace or bluehost then you you need this two line to place on the uh, dns zone uh, of that domain okay in the other hosting but if you purchase the domain uh, just uh, right there I mean uh, under side ground then you don't need to do anything at all so what you need to do we'll have to go to C panel just click there and then click on proceed without thinking anything and then here you go 
so uh, uh, so here is the uh, auto installer here you, yeah, so you will get as I showed you in the plan you will get something really uh, free like SSL or something else so I'll make another video how to integrate SSL um, and then you, you can follow that video and even learn how to integrate SSL so here is uh, WordPress tools okay so we will install WordPress and here is the file manager where all of our files will be there and then let me go to WordPress installer just click on it you can see there it says WordPress then here is the button called install now click on it and then you have to select the domain name okay here you go if you want uh, you will get HTTPS uh, from SiteGround it's totally free and include with the domain okay and if you like to put the plain format like HTTPS you can do that if you want www before url then you can do that so i'm going to do the plain one and here is the domain name and as this is the main domain of this um, website so i like to uh, install wordpress in a subfolder called 2018 sorry 2018 after that it says site setting you can put your site name my blog or whatever you want like uh, my personal and here you go you can put it uh, site description um, move yourself to next step here you go if you want multi-site then uh, click on the uh, box if not then just ignore it and here is the admin user you can put admin and the password as you want uh, here you go and then whatever you want and then here is the mail you have to put like this and then the language which language you want in your wordpress dashboard and i would like to uh, put i like to keep english after that here you go that's it there is nothing to do uh, uh your end so just click on install it will take couple of seconds to be installed in the hosting <laughs> okay here you go you can see so if here, here is the administrative URL so you will have to go to this URL open a new tab here you go and then that's it we are done you can dismiss and in we are in the dashboard so if we go to the link this is our new website now you can start building your uh, website like you can create pages you can create posts so I like to make another video uh, for the next uh, stuffs like the post how to create post how to create pages so if you uh, and you can follow that video and um, if you're really passionate then you can learn something so if you think this video is helpful for you then please uh, subscribe to my channel that will be great for my, me and uh, it's totally inspirational for me to get more uh, make more videos for you so uh, that's it for today thank you so much and have a